Hey there, my name is Erin and let me take you on a journey with me to the place called Japan. And I'm here. This is the early morning and my step-parents are still sleeping and um, they told me to have breakfast all by myself and I'm speaking in a really really like not in a loud voice because I'm afraid of waking them up there upstairs those are the garbage containers so each for each type of um, the fuck I can't remember this in Japanese language but I cannot remember it in English I freaking need my English practice back because this is horrendous so I will quickly show you this this is following me oh. This is the shower that I'm supposed to use. That is a Japanese shower over there. I'm not supposed to use it. And this is the thing where you see it. This is really, really, you know, exciting. You just sit there and wash yourself, not like in European showers. This is something regular and you can probably tell, like the normal regular thing, sink, the mirror and the thing that is turning something on and off. This is a washing machine, I'm not using it once again. And also, this is the Chimurashka. Let me show you. Oh my god. Well, it's upside down, but it says Chimurashka in here. I haven't asked about it just yet. And by the way, if I'm here already, I'm going to tell you about what has been happening throughout a couple of days because I haven't got the chance to tell it all earlier. In the next couple of days after I filmed like the first video, we've met with my friend once again, with my university friend, and we've been to a lot of shops different shops like the first day and also we've been walk walking towards the streets and I've, talk I've took a lot of pictures of it and it looks really incredible and really stunning and I haven't imagined some aspects of Tokyo to look like that but generally it was like it was living up all of my expectations also first lunch we've eaten at the curry shop or something like that so it was really nice like the curry of, over there like was really good and it was totally totally worth it we've been to Shinjuku we've been to the park where the major shrine is located but we haven't really been there because we're stupid we couldn't find it that day and then we just came home and I had a nice dinner with my family. So my Japanese language is quite improving from day to day and I still feel like I talk not in a normal way, just like I talk and I use wrong words, wrong grammar, wrong sentences. But generally it's like getting more confident, which is important to me right now. Like I don't care about how right it sounds or anything like that. Like in English I can't care about that because my English level is pretty much Okay, but like Japanese language, I speak really badly and the first step to getting better at some language, as I already understood, is to just like talk and talk and talk and talk and talk the way you can. You get more confident, more confident, more confident and then you can like improve your skills and fix your mistakes. The next day after that, um, we went to Akihabara and um, before that I went to uh, the Ueno Park, but like I couldn't really be there because my friend texted me that it's better we go to Akihabara or something and I thought like, well, why not? Let's just go to Akihabara. And then we went to Akihabara and then there's a story involved. My friend, she told me about this game center um, from Sega, which uh, was about like, you know, those automatons, these toy machines or something like that. This thing that is like goes this way, this way, and it picks up the thing. There's a really nice bread, by the way, and drops it somewhere. So in Russia, it works like that, at least. There was something hilarious about that because this thing couldn't just like, you know, pick up the thing and throw it wherever you want it to throw. But like, it was just, it wasn't really closing, it was just like going down 
stopping and going up just like that just like it came down it was quite sad because either me and my friend spent like about 600 rubles in there and then one moment she thought about just like coming up to a nice man that was working there and like uh, ask about how the fuck do you just put this thing off and there was a nice guy that really laughed at us and because we didn't understand this thing earlier and then he just came to us and uh, like told that everything is working perfectly and like that's just we that don't know this shit and like then he put the toy right next to the place where it should be thrown and then he went away like really really fast because this was something he wasn't supposed to do for sure and then we took this toy and i took my drawing thing like where you can draw stuff and you can just erase it and then draw again i don't freaking know why do i need that but like why not also, then we came to a big department store, by the way, Kihabara is amazing, like, although I don't really watch anime and I don't really have any interest in that, but like, except for Hayao Miyazaki, he's cool. It was worth it, like, I enjoyed being there and it was, there were a lot of cute, nice stuff that I wanted to buy really much, but I didn't because I'm trying to save up my money. But like, next off, I went to the department store. And I bought myself a new pair of headphones. Yeah, that's how I go. <laughs> really nice headphones, by the way, Audio Technica, and I really wanted to buy them while in Russia, but I, we don't really have the variety of them. And also, I'm kind of um, getting used to living here already, like the rules that I should obey or something, and I should go to the shower, the way I should go to the shower, the things I should turn on and turn off when I leave and when I come in or something. I'm used to food on already, like, today I've slept so nicely, but like, I was quite nervous about myself waking up or something like that, so, about my alarm going off, so, because I have a test today, I'm going to school. My expectations about that are that I don't really want any Russians in my group, don't get me wrong, like, I I'm not saying that I don't like Russians in general, but like I just I want to kind of train my English speaking skills somehow if it's possible like maybe someone from English speaking country and Maybe from Europe who knows English maybe from Asia who knows English well wh wh Whoever is there who knows English like it would be nice and also like different cultures It's really interesting to like know to get to know them and everything So now I think I should finish my breakfast and get Some work done and everything and then go to the station So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it and enjoyed it and that was me from a place called Japan Send that out and I'll see you real soon. Bye.